A Little East Conference doubleheader matchup between the UMass Dartmouth Corsairs and the Eastern Connecticut State University Warriors will move to the top of the first inning in game one. Still scoreless, one out, runners at second and third. Raylan Perigo at the plate for the Corsairs. She's going to send this one to right field. Sarah Remillard is going to catch it and fire it to home, but it's not going to be there in time as Leah Major will score for the Corsairs. UMass Dartmouth strikes first and leads one to nothing. We'll move to the top of the fifth inning. Same score, two outs, bases loaded. Jill Walsh at the plate for the Corsairs trying to add some runs, but Carly Stoker is going to strike her out to get out of this jam. UMass Dartmouth would still lead one to nothing. And now we'll move to the bottom of the fifth. Same score, two outs, runner at third. Emma Morelli at the plate for the Warriors. as She's going to hit this one back over to the pitcher that fires it over to first to keep this game a one to nothing lead for UMass Dartmouth. And now we'll move to the bottom of the seventh. Same score, two outs, runner at second. Taylor Darby at the plate for the Warriors, trying to bring in the game-tying run. She's going to send this one to right field. It's going to get down. Alyssa Vilches rounding third, and she's going to score. Darby ties this one up for the Warriors, one-to-one. -one. Next batter, first-year player Maddie Bowen, who will pinch hit for Grace Leone. Here's the 1-0 delivery. She's going to send this one to right field. It's going to get down. Darby coming home. Walsh can't throw it in time. A walk-off single for Bowen as the Warriors will take game one of the doubleheader 2-1. to one. And now we'll move to game two of this doubleheader as UMass Dartmouth will look to bounce back. We go to the top of the third inning, still scoreless, no outs. Emily Wilkinson at the plate for the Corsairs. Warrior pitcher Alyssa Vilchez is going to strike her out. A great strikeout from Vilchez and two more to come after that. Striking out Victoria Rossetti and Larissa Pisons. Game still scoreless. We move to the bottom of the fourth, still scoreless, two outs. Runner at second, Taylor Darby at the plate for the Warriors. She's going to send this to shallow right field. What a great play and great catch from Jill Richards to track this ball down and keep the game scoreless. We go to the top of the fifth inning now, still scoreless, two outs. Runner at second, Leah Major at the plate for the Corsairs. She's going to ground this one to third base. Julie San Giovanni firing it over to first, and this game continues to stay scoreless. Bottom of the seventh inning now, still scoreless, one out. Darby at the plate again for the Warriors, looking to win it. Here is the pitch. She's going to send this one to deep left field. Take a good look at it because you're not going to see it for long. A walk-off home run for Darby, her second one of the season, and one to remember as the Warriors will win it in fashion and sweep the Corsairs of UMass Dartmouth. Take another look at this one. Take a look at the replay. No doubt about that one. Here it is to deep left field. The Corsairs, they drop their record to 3-3 three and three in the conference as the Warriors improve their record in the conference to 4-0. and oh.